Did you see that fuzzy yes. creature? It was a piker! And also, did you know that they are actually disappearing? <laughs> That's not actually what's happening, but this is... Global warming is rapidly changing the climate. This is causing people to find creatures that are affected by this. Pikas are one of those creatures. They have even made a pika watch to show the government that they should go on the endangered species list. This is one of their many experts. Alright, I've learned a lot of really interesting things since studying pikas. I think maybe the most interesting thing has been with my experience with pikas living near sea level in the Columbia River Gorge in Oregon. Um, what I'm finding is that the, the, the rock slides are covered in a really thick layer of moss and the pikas are able to eat the moss, which means that they don't have to travel outside of the rock slides to eat. Um, and they also, the moss helps keep the rock slides nice and cold, uh, colder than we would expect based on the low elevation. So I think the interesting take home message from that is that pikas may be a little bit more adaptable in terms of their strict habitat requirements than we give them credit for. Um, particularly with respect to what they eat and um, how they forage. <laughs> um, pikas are small mammals. They're closely related to rabbits. Um, they're about the size of a hamster, but they look a little bit more like a guinea pig, about this big. And they make a really cute little noise, um, and it sounds like this. <laughs> That's good. Right, cool. They do sound like that. All right. In 2007, a group tried to put pikas on the endangered species list. The government needed proof that pika numbers were dropping. Many different universities, zoos, government services, and individuals are gathering data. Even Salt Lake Center for Science Ed Education students are getting involved. Pikas die after two hours and 75 degrees. Research on pika numbers has been done in Nevada and Oregon, but very little has been done in Utah. Our expert is working for the University of Utah to try and convince the government that the population of pikas are dropping. But they still need 10 more years of data to finally convince the government to put the pikas on the endangered species list. They are getting this data by going to four different sites. The first one is Secret Lake. The other three are in the Uintas. They are getting this information mainly by looking for hay piles, scat, and latrine sites. And even hidden cameras. Fun fact! Did you know, pikas only live above 8,000 feet? <gasps> they are vital to the environment, so we should save them. Yeah! If we don't help these adorable animals, no one will. No! Not my beautiful pika! Thanks for watching. It's been a great time. You know it. Yeah.